Welcome. In this video we're going to increase the colour saturation by using a simple mask to protect the background. We do this obviously as we don't want to increase the noise in the background areas, only increase saturation of areas of interest, M106 and star colours. To create a mask you need to extract the luminance. This is very easy. Just go to the top bar, click on this little icon here, extract luminance, and this is exactly what it does. Now, as with all masks in Pixing Sight, the darker the area, the more protection it offers to the image. Now, even as it is like this, we get pretty good protection. But if you want to increase it, we can just go and use a histogram, select the image. You just click the shadows, so we're just darkening the background to offer more protection. Okay, that'll do. When we're happy, it's quite easy to apply the mask. Just grab hold of the sidebar, hold the pass button down, and drag it to the empty sidebar on the image. And it's applied. Minimize the luminance now, but don't close it because it's still being used as a mask. As you can see, the image is considerably darkened. To increase saturation, you can use the colour saturation tool here. But I prefer to use the curves because it gives me a little bit more control. Just click on the S for saturation and activate the real time preview so we can see what we're doing. Okay, just lift the curves up. That's controlling the top of the curve so we don't overdo it. Okay, when happy, close down the preview and apply it to the image. And to remove the mask, we just go up to this little menu bar at the top and one that says remove mask. And there we have a nicely saturated M106 and the improvement in star colours but with no change to the background area. Very simple but very effective. See you next time.